Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Ratnakar. Here are the news in details. The unexpected increase in the number of people testing positive for the novel coronavirus has caused concern among citizens. The state's highest number of positive cases has made residents fearful of venturing out without following COVID-19 standards. Despite the fact that the district administration is monitoring the arrangements and informing citizens of its preparedness, most residents remember the horrible circumstances they observed during the pandemic sinkhead wave last year. On Friday, 698 fresh cases in the last 24 hours. Nako City alone reported around 593 fresh COVID cases. Though no death was reported in the city, in the last 24 hours, 132 persons recovered from the virus bond disease. Out of total cases, 593 cases were reported from Nako City, while 89 cases were coughed up in Nako Rural. 16 cases were reported from outside the district. The nuisance detection squad in Nehrunagar zone of Nagpur Municipal Corporation booked a Subh Ashish marriage loan and imposed a fine of Rs 25,000 for defying COVID-19 rules on Friday. The members of the squad raided the lawn and found attention of more than 50 persons in the wedding ceremony. Moreover, many persons were not wearing masks and observing social distancing of six feet in between them. This is the first case for charging a fine of Rs 25,000 to the management of a marriage loan in the city. After Radha Krishnan B, Municipal Commissioner issuing restrictions and instructions for following the rules against Corona on Wednesday, he had asked the squad members to start taking stringent actions against marriage halls, hotels or lawns if they fail to follow the rules. New electric and CNG buses would not be included in the fleet of city buses for eco-friendly transportation. Banti Kupre, chairman of Transport Committee of Nagpur Municipal Corporation, issued orders to undertake tender process immediately for eco-friendly transportation. He presided over the meeting of the Transport Committee held in Dr. Punjabra Deshmukh Hall in NMC here on Thursday. The new buses would replace the old buses out of 100 sanctioned buses two grand for the city under frame two scheme of the central government. 40 e buses would come in the first stage. The meeting agreed to send a proposal to the center for purchasing remaining 60 e buses for grant. It has been decided to purchase 50 e buses. Nitin Gadkar Union Surface Transport Minister had announced policy for eco-friendly public transportation. These buses are being purchased under this. A deputation of the worker of Nationalist Congress Party made Municipal Commissioner and Divisional Officer Nagpur Employment Trust here on Friday and submitted memoranda to them, pressing the demand for taking immediate steps to fill up the fat holes at University, Vardhara Ring Road at earliest possible. Rupesh Bangade, General Secretary NCP, apprised them of a lot of hardship the citizens from Pavering number 26 and other were facing due to very bad condition of the road. He pointed out that the workers had made repeated representation to the authorities concerning the press this demand, but they failed to pay heed. He warned that the NCP workers would resort to agitation after one week if the authorities failed to do anything in this matter. The deputation consisted of Nathuji Darote, Shankar, Banarse, Prashant Agrawal, Pawan Gawande, Rajesh Rajgiri, Rajesh Mende, Pramod Ambatkar and others. Following rising complaints from local residents on rampant air and water pollution in the villages surrounding Koradi and Thapar Khera Thermal Power Stations, the State Environment Minister Adit Thakri on Thursday took stock of the situation and asked state bodies to deliberate and, and identify measures for pollution control. The Environment Minister had called for a list of critical interventions from Maharashtra State Power Generation Company, Maharashtra Pollution Control Board, as well as researchers from the Center for Sustainable Development, Nagpur, Manthan Adhyayan Kendra, Pune to ensure pollution abatement across the 2,400 MW Koradian, 1,340 MW Khapar Khera Thermal Power Plants at the earliest. The decision were taken during a virtual meeting held on Thursday evening. After seeing the presentation by researchers and hearing them out, I have directed relevant state bodies to come up with concrete solutions to address the pollution problem around this power plant, he added. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach dikhaye, bina chupaye.